Let's start module 5, plane coordinate geometry, and this includes uh, distance formula, midpoint formula, and some proof uh, about uh, different geometric properties using, using the distance formula. So let's begin with a brief review. We will be using activity 1, how long is this part of page 229 of your module so use the number line below to find the length of each of the following segments and then answer the questions that follow before we answer that let's first have a recall on what a number line is so mathematically a number line can be defined as a straight line with numbers placed at equal intervals or segments along its length and a number line can be extended indefinitely and these arrows are symbol that signifies that this number line extends infinitely in any direction and, it's and it is usually represented horizontally. So this is an example of a number line. In which the numbers on the number line increases as one moves from the left to the right of the number line and from by vice versa naman from left going to the right the numbers are decreasing okay so let's start say for number one we will be uh we will we will be looking for the length of a b so this is a and this is B. So using the number line, we will be uh, identifying the length of AB. So as you can see, A falls on negative 10 and B falls on negative 6 of our number line. Correct? So if that's the case, AB now is how long? So if we will be co uh, counting the units, we have 1, 2, 3, Four. That means AB is 4 units if we will be counting it. Now, there's another uh, way on how to get the distance from point A to point B. And that is by the use of or by finding the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates of the given point. Say, for instance, so if you have AB... AB now is equal to the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates of the point. So if uh, point A is located at negative 10, so that is negative 10 minus the location of point B, which is negative 6, And that is equal to, adjust natin konti dito. So we have AB is equal to negative and negative. So it will become positive. So we have the absolute value of negative 10 plus 6. And negative 10 plus 6 is negative 4. And the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4. So AB is Four units. Next, how about BC? So if you want to count, if you count the units, one, two, three, four. So BC from point B to point C, that is also four units long. Okay? Now, if, if you will get, uh, or if you will use absolute value in finding the difference of the coordinates of the points, you may. So, the absolute value of point B is located at negative 6. And point C is located at negative 2. Negative and negative, so positive. Magiging negative 6 plus... 2 and negative 6 plus 2 is negative 
4. And the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4. So, 4 units din siya. Next, how long is CD? So, from point C, point C is negative 2, to point D. Point D naman natin is positive 4. By counting, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 units. So by using absolute value, the absolute value point C is located at point uh, at negative two minus this is positive four, correct? And negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. And the absolute value of negative 6 is 6. So, 6 units din siya. Next, how long is D E? Okay. By counting, 1, 2. 2 units. By absolute value, D E is equal to the absolute value of Point D is located at 4, minus E is located at 6. So, 4 minus 6, that is negative 2. And the absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2. Okay. Next, E and F. By counting the units, 1, 2, 3. So, this is 3 units. By absolute value... So, EF is located at point 6. Or should I say, yeah, it is located at point 6. Minus, F is located at 9. So, 6 minus 9, that is negative 3. And the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. So, that's how long EF is. Next, FG. From F to G, how many units? One. So this is one unit long. So 10, 9 minus 10. That is negative 10. Or should I say negative 1? 9 minus 10 is negative 1. And the absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. Okay. Next. How did you find the length of each segment? The first one is by counting the number of units from one point to the other point. Ginawa natin kanina. So, from point A to point B, count mo lang. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, by counting the number of units from one point to the other point using the number line itself. Now, next, the second way is by getting... The absolute value of the difference of the coordinates of the point. Say, point A is located at negative 10 minus point B is located at negative 6. And you have to get the absolute value of that. Okay? Negative and negative will become positive. So, you will have negative 10 plus 6. And negative 10 plus 6, that is negative 4. And the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4. So that is your uh, that is the other way on how to get the length of each of the following segments. Next, did you use the coordinates of the points in finding the length of each segment? Yes, we we use the coordinates and how thou how by counting the number of units from one point to another or by finding the absolute value. So one and two are just the same. Next, number three. Which segments are congruent? And then you have to tell why. So, which among the segments are congruent? Say, A, B. This one. A, B is congruent to B, C. Why? Because they have the same lengths. Tama? Next, C, D. So, A, B. Dito yung sagot natin. A, B. Segment A, B is congruent to segment B, C. 
And we also have segment CD. Meron mga kapareho si CD. Santa. So if if CD if CD is 6 units, asan ba asan, asan pa yung kanyang kaparehong sukat? From point D to point G. Let's see. Point from point D to point G. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So CD is congruent to DG, and so on. Reason because they have the same lengths. Next, how would you relate the lengths of the following segments? AB. B, C, and A, C. So, let's look at the number line. A, B. So, this is A, B. Katapos si B, C. And then A, C. So, how will we, how will we relate the lengths of the following segment? So, A, B. Mula dito ang gandoon. A, B. Mula dito ang gandoon is B, C. And then, mula dito hanggang doon is AC. So, as you can observe, AB plus BC is equal to AC. So, AB plus BC is equal to AC. How about AC, CE, and AE? AC. So, AC. That is AC. We also have CE. CE. And AE. So how will we relate the relationship of this uh, three segments? So AE is equal to AC plus CE. So AC plus CE is equal to AE. Next, is the length of AD the same as the length of DA? How about BF and FB? Explain your answer. So, we know that AD is equal to AD. AD. So, hanapin muna pala natin yung AD. So, AD, kurayin muna natin ito. Okay, AD. So, from negative 10 to positive 4. By counting, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, by counting, AD is 14 units long. Correct? Now, is AD, the question now is that is AD, segment AD, the same as, congruent as, the length of the A. So, how can we, how can we, uh, how can we prove that this two has the same lengths? So, by finding the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates of the given points. Okay, so point A, point A is located at negative 10. So, negative 10. So, A, D. It's equal to the absolute value of negative 10 minus and point D is located at positive 4. And negative 10 minus 4, that is negative 14. And the absolute value of negative 14 is 14. So, it is indeed that AD is 14 units long. Now, how about DA? Say DA. DA is D is located at uh, 4 minus uh, A is located at negative 10. Correct? So, negative and negative will become positive. 4 plus 10. Magiging 4 plus 10 na siya. And 4 plus 10 is 14. And the absolute value of 14 is 14. So, therefore... By using absolute value, 
Therefore, AD is indeed congruent to DA. So, same ex explanation with BF. So, how long is BF? Let's see. By counting BF, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, BF is 15 long. B is located at negative 6 and F is located at positive 9. So, by absolute value, we have B is negative 6 and F is positive 9. Negative 6 minus 9 is negative 15. And the absolute value of negative 15 is 15. The other one naman, FB, that is the absolute value of 9 minus negative 6 and then negative times negative positive so 9 plus 6 15 and the absolute value of 15 is 15 therefore bf is also equal to fb okay next activity number two am i right so the length of one side of each right triangle below is unknown Determine the length of this side and explain how you obtained your answer. So for number one, so this is the figure. As you can observe, it is a right triangle. So if there is a right triangle, there is always Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean or Pythagorean. Okay? Pythagorean theorem. So, laging ganyan. Pag may right triangle, Pythagorean theorem or Pythagorean theorem ng solution. Okay? Now, next, this angle, this angle here, contains the right angle. Okay? Kung right angle ito, ibig sabihin ito yung pinakamalaking angle na meron. So, mas malaki siya dito, mas malaki siya doon. Okay? Now, opposite the larger, uh, the largest angle is the hypotenuse. So, ibig sabihin, itong nawawala natin ay hypotenuse. Siya yung longest side. So, the longest side is missing. Okay? If the longest side is missing, therefore, the longest side is equal to the square root of, ayusin natin kung dito, the square root of a square plus b square. a square, usually a is represented by the short leg. And B is represented by the longer leg. Okay? So, A is 3. And B is 4. 3 square is 9. 4 square is 16. 9 plus 16 is... Ilan? 9 plus 16 is 25. Okay? So, the square root of 25... What is the square root of 25? The square root of 25 is 5. So, therefore, the longest leg is 5. How do we obtain 5? By using Pythagorean theorem. Next, how about here? What's the missing side? The missing side is the longer. Tama? So, B is missing. So, for here, B is missing. So, B is equal to the square root of C square minus A square. C square is the longest side. Okay? So, what's the value of C? This is the longest. So, 12 square minus 8 square. 12 square, that is 144 minus 8 square is 64. So, 144 minus 64 is equal to 80. And square root of 80 is equal to 80. Square root of 80 is equal to 80. Factors of 80, what is a perfect number? That is 16 times 5. 16 times 5 is 80. Right. Now, the square root of 16 is 4. And the square root of 5 is square root of 5. Or, 
B is approximately equal to 8.94. Okay. How did you obtain the answer? By using Pythagorean theorem. Next. In this part, uh, the short leg is missing, correct? So, the short leg, leg is equal to the square root of the longest leg minus the long uh, longer leg. C is 24 minus B is 18. And 24 is equal to uh, 24 square. Is equivalent to 576. So, ito 576. Minus 18 squared is 324. Okay. Next, 576. 576 minus 324 is equal to 252. And simplifying 252. By getting its factor in which one of the factors must be a perfect number. So this is 36 and 7. 36 times 7 is uh, 252. And the square root of 36 is 6. So the square root of 252 is 6 square root of 7. Or that is approximately equal to 15.87. So that's how you use Pythagorean theorem. Okay? Next, let's talk about the distance between two points. Now remember that the distance between two points is always non-negative. It is positive when two points are different and zero if the points are the same. Again, we're dealing with distance. There is no negative distance. Okay, yan dapat ay laging non-negative. So, it is always positive. Positive siya if two points are different and zero siya kapag the two points are the same. Let's, uh, let's have an example. Say, consider these two points. We have point P, uh, point P. We have point P and point Q. As we discussed kanina, sabi niya, is PQ, katulad din ito nung kanina, equal is the distance between P and Q is also equal to the distance of Q and P. Mula P hanggang Q, pareho din ba mula kay Q hanggang P? By absolute value, yes. Correct? Now next, now consider these two points that are aligned horizontally on the coordinate plane. So the, the, the horizontal distance between this point, katulad lang din siya kanina nung example natin sa activity 1. So the, the horizontal distance between two po these two points is the absolute value of the difference of their x-coordinates. Okay? Si horizontal siya. Remember, in a number line, ang horizontal natin ay, ay ang ating tinatawag na x-axis, okay? In which P natin is located at 3 and 2. So, this is 3 and 2. Ang tawag naman natin dito ay coordinates, okay? So, the coordinates of point P is 3 and 2. Next, ang Q naman natin is located at point P. Uh, Point 10 and 2. So, yan ang location naman natin ng point Q. Now, next. Gaano kalayo si point P kay point Q? Anong gagawin natin? Just simply get. Oh, you have two ways again. Either kung nahirapan ka by counting. Or para mas madali. Pwede mag-absolute value pa din. O sa bagay, mas madali yata ang counting. So, pag nag-count ka. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, uh, the distance between P and Q is 
7, seven uh, I mean the distance between P, point P and point Q is 7 units, correct? So, pa paano mong papakita yun kung meron kang coordinates na given? See, what if coordinates lang ang given, walang, wala tayong uh, coordinate plane? So, pa paano gagawin doon? So, PQ is equal to the absolute value. Si P ay located at po, uh, sa 3. Minus Q is located at 10. Correct? And 3 minus 10, that is negative 7. And the absolute value of negative 7 is positive 7. So, ganun yan. Now, next, we can also use, we can also use QP, which is equal to 10 minus 3. 10 minus 3 is 7. Okay, by sub, uh, the absolute value of uh, 7 is 7. Now, by substitu substitution, PQ is also equal to QP. Okay. Next. Determine the distance between A. Okay, determine uh, between A and B. Nasaan si A dyan? A is 4 and 3. So, 4, ayun si 4, tapos 3. So, this is A. And then, we have B, 4 and negative 5. So, anong distance nilang dalawa? Now, next, since ito naman, vertical siya, vertically, you are looking uh, for the the distance of the two points that are aligned vertically. Patayo naman siya. So, kung vertically siya, dito horizontally, so, ang gamit mo yung x-coordinates nila. Okay? Ang x-coordinate ni P is 3, at ang x-coordinate ni uh, Q is 10. Dito naman iba, kasi vertical line ang inahanap mong distance. Eh. So, ang gagamitin mo yung y-coordinate nung isa, at saka y-coordinate nung pangalawa. Okay? So, AB is equal to the absolute value of negative 5 minus positive 3. Remember that AB is also equal to BA by substitution, okay? So, negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8 and the absolute value of negative 8 is 8. Okay? Paano pagbaligtad naman? So, you have 3, yung isa naman. 3 minus negative 5. And then get the absolute value. Negative and negative, positive. So, 3 plus 5, 8. So, uh, the absolute value of 8 is 8. So, AB is 8 units long. Okay? Pag vertical naman yun. Now, next. The distance between two points, whether they are aligned horizontally or vertically, can be determined using the distance formula. So, paano naman pag hindi siya aligned horizontally tsaka vertically, pa paano mo kukunin yung, yung kanilang distance by using the distance formula. 